you have given them bread from heaven condemning itself for the light let us pray lord our god may we always give due honor to the to the sacramental presence of the lamb who was slain for us may our faith be rewarded by by the vision of his glory who lives and reigns forever and ever Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, be bow before thee. All on earth, thy scepter claim. All in heaven, above our duty infinite diverse domain everlasting is the way infinite diverse domain everlasting is thy way
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again. Glory to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life uh, everlasting. Today we celebrate the feast of the two apostles, Simon and Jude. We shall pray together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father. How mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and uh, ever. A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up with the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obe obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart to Christ, not when being watched as currying favor, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, willingly serving the Lord and not men, knowing that each will be requited from the Lord for whatever good he does, whether he is slave or free. Masters, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying, knowing that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the response psalm. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out to all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims its handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out to all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord, the glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip. Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Oh, that's nice. That's an awesome answer. Today, we have a lot of energy today. So how is the school? How is the classes? Good. Good? You guys are enjoying it? Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. Classes are fun, right? Yes. It is fun. Not always, right? Always fun? Yeah, it's fun too, yeah. I used to enjoy going to school and learning some stuff, but not always, but of course. The school is fun, school is fun, okay? And then today, okay, so I'm going to ask you. You know, some days I wear a different color. What color I was wearing last Wednesday? Last Wednesday? Green. Today is red. Why? It's a different days, you know. We wear different color. Maybe the older ones might know why do we wear, why do the priests wear different color? Yes, Taylor? Okay. So today, we are celebrating the feast of two apostles, Simon and Jude. Simon and Jude. And they both were martyrs. So that's why the color red. The ordinary time, you know, we were green. And during Lent, what the priests wear? 
Purple. What's the meaning of purple? Purple? Anybody? Seventh grade is, eighth grade is? What's, where, 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 what is the meaning of uh, purple? When the priests wear purple, that, what is the meaning of it? Yes, get it? Or Advent, one, of one of the times. Okay, well, what's the meaning of that? Ah, why do we wear purple? I know that Lent and, uh, you know, we, the priest wear it. What, what kind of color is there? Who wears the purple? Like the king? It's the color of the royalty. It's the color of the royalty. Okay, coming back to the gospel passage of today, when we read the gospel of Mark, Mark tells two things. Mark tells Jesus called his disciples to be with him and to be sent out. So first he called him to be with him, and secondly, to be sent out. What's the meaning of to be with the Lord? So that's a kind of an Eastern thing. The ancient time, like they didn't have any school, like the former schooling like today. A disciple or a student goes to the master, stay with the master, and learn. So that's why Jesus called his disciples so that he can, they can stay with him and learn about his teaching, whatever he wanted to see. And then secondly, then once they are ready, once he teaches them everything, then they can go out and do things. Just like Jesus did. He went around teaching, preaching, and healing. And that's what Simon and Jude did today. You know, they went around and preaching and teaching and did a lot of stuff. Okay, now my question for you. Now today, Jesus is asking you, just like Simon and Jude did, what you can do for him. Or how do you think that you can help Jesus just like Simon and Jude did? Um. Like how we help Jesus or... Uh, Jesus. Oh, that's a good one. That's the first thing Jesus said. So... Pray to him. You know, to be with him means, yeah, to know him. To know Jesus means spend time in prayer. Oh, that's a beautiful answer. That's a beautiful answer, yes. Spend time with him. Another one. Spend time with the Lord. That's the first thing. That's why Jesus called his disciples to be with him. To be with him means to spend time with him. Just like we are friends, you know, we hang out together. So we spend time with Jesus. Yes. Pardon me? Oh, that's a good one. So what Jesus did for us, he died on the cross. He died on the cross for us, so that means he did a big sacrifice. Now Jesus is asking us to do small sacrifices. So as far as when the season of Lent comes, we do that. We do small sacrifices for Jesus and for others. Yes. 
Oh, that's a good one. We go to church, and then we pray with others. And then Jesus says, when you do something to the least of my brothers or sisters, you are doing it for me. Okay. How come we get up in heaven? Pardon me? How, do, how come we get up in heaven? Oh, that's a big one. So Jesus wants that we all go to heaven. That's what Jesus wants. That's what God wants. God wants all of us to get to heaven. We have to go to heaven. So if we want to get to heaven, we have to do things that Jesus tells us to do. Okay. Uh, going to church and praying. Going praying? Prayer? Yes, that's a big one. That's, a, that's the first one Jesus said, that we need to spend time with him. So that means the best way to spend time with the Lord is spend time in prayer. Eli. Maybe you spread the word of the Bible in the room. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. So that's the second part. That's what Jesus said. To be with him and then to be sent out. That means we can talk about Jesus. And the best way we can talk about Jesus is to love his word. You know, we are someone different, not like others. As Christians, as Catholics, we are different. Our life should be different. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Okay. Okay, once again, the first part, to spend time with the Lord. That means to pray, to spend time in prayer. Going to church, so we pray as a community. You know, that's the beauty of our faith. You know, like it is in that, uh, as an individual, you know, I can sit in my room, I can sit at home, and I can pray. But our Christian faith is that we uh, grow in our faith as a community. That's the uh, Acts of the Apostles. Act, Acts of the Apostles speaks about the first Christians as the community of believers. So as a community, we come together. That's why, you know, the importance of the church and a number of people tell us that because of this situation, they miss coming to the church. They miss coming to the church and uh, praying together. Okay, one more hand. Go to church, especially on Sundays. So Sunday means first thing that comes to our mind is going to church. What is the second thing? Get it? What is the second thing after the church? Resting? Oh, yes, Sunday is the day of uh, resting too. When there's a Packer game, we watch the Packer game too. You guys are not into it, right? Yeah, after some time, you learn about the game. Okay. So the gospel of today tells us two things. As you said, spend time in prayer. Good way to know our God. And then secondly, make small sacrifices. That's by like respecting others, being good to others. We pray for others. So we respect our parents. You respect your teachers. So these are some of the ways that you can, you can grow more closer to God. So as we continue this Eucharist and as we continue this Mass, 
Let's ask God for his grace that we may spend time in prayer. And then again, we may do small things in our life so that just like Simon and Jude, we can spread the word of Jesus to others. Okay, everyone, please stand. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For the Holy Catholic Church throughout the world, for Pope Francis, and for all the ministers of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that each one of us will receive the gospel with the joy of the Holy Spirit, and live in it in the service of God and neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that it will serve others in all that we do and work together to love others as Christ loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling during the coronavirus pandemic, along them who are sick, and for the students who aren't able to attend school in person, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will over all help, who have asked for prayers and for those who need our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, oh, hear our prayer. We pray for the deceased loved ones of our parish and families. Today we remember in a special way Jerome and Marcel Dano, that the light of Christ shines upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, oh, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. Today in a special way, we pray for our teachers, parents, students, and all those are part of our school family. Continue to bless them, keep them safe and healthy. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the memory of this wine and water, we may come to share the divinity of Christ who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my dear children, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we went away, the perpetual glory of the holy, of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our praise, our leaders to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ uh, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on the apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis R. Pope, William R. Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy in us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
I'll lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. I went forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God, will the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God, will the Father and the Word of the Holy Spirit, you have to the world and build them to the normal extension and be the only capital to your teaching and uh, from your agreeable and faithful commandments and number one. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter on tomorrow. But listen to the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that we do honor the gracious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude and may keep us ever in your love through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone, thank you to parents, grandparents, those who are here with us today, and thank you to all the teachers for being part of our school family and you children, so you have a wonderful day. Thank you everyone.